On January 13, 1996, in Arlington, Texas, Amber Hagerman was taken off her bicycle in a local grocery store parking lot. The community gathered together to find the missing child. Uh, however, she was found five days later floating in a creek, um, beaten and murdered to death. Her death was very tragic, but it uplifted many people in the community to come together to find the missing abducted child. And because of this, many people felt that the news broadcasting system should be able to alert the communities or cities that a child has been abducted within the certain time frame that can allow them to be found within the short amount of time that they have to survive. According to amberalert.ojp.gov, in 2001, only four states had statewide Amber Alert within their district. But then in 2002, the White House had convinced a lot of other states by creating a conference that the missing, exploited, and runaway children needed that help. And because of that, it also became a national topic. And then on April 30th, 2003, President Bush signed a PROTECT Act into law which provided the emergency preparedness and response tools necessary to create a national Amber Alert program. And ever since then, it's been success ever since. The Dallas-Fort Worth broadcasters were the first ones to provide the Amber Alert on their systems. Um, in Amber's hometown. Amber, Amber Alert was named after Amber and it stands for America's Missing Broadcast Emergency Response. It alerts everyone on their phones. Hey, there's an Amber Alert. It tells you the name of the child, their age, height, weight, what they look like, what color car they're being abducted in, the license plate, and a lot of other information given to you. The Amber Alert has been very successful. Um, as of May 2020, 988 children have been rescued specifically because of Amber Alert. In 2020 alone. Amber Alert is not just a United States corporation. It has gone worldwide and the Europe countries have also felt that Amber Alert was very successful and they wanted to incorporate it in their emergency response as well. They also call it Amber Alert. They have their own separate website that they keep track of all of their data. There's this amberalert.eu, standing for Europe. And from 2019, 17 girls and 18 boys were abducted and successfully recovered. Um, and there was four alerts in the Netherlands, one alert in France, one alert in Spain, and four alerts in the Czech Republic. <clears throat> These all were 100% successful as of the year 2019. Amber has been very influential over the past 20 years, and it keeps going. It keeps growing. As of 2015, Facebook created a partnership with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children so that Amber Alerts would show up on news feeds of people's Facebook pages and become a notification for their um, surrounding areas. All of this information can be found from amberalert.ojp.gov and I was also able to find this information from the 
the Department of Justice Amber Alert. Amber Hagerman was murdered in a very graphic and horrible way and I'm glad that she was able to create a system for new children in this day and age that can become found and reunited with their families and avoid being killed and murdered.